Hello again. My name is Reverend Jim Carter. I'm the pastor of New Presbyterian Church, and it's a joy to be with you here in session number two. As we learned in session number one, we learned about Reformed theology. Today, we're going to be learning in session number two about the second pillar here at New Presbyterian Church, and that is evangelism and discipleship. We believe that a church should be living out the love of Jesus Christ. We believe that a church should be demonstrating the compassion and the kindness to the community. And we also believe in what's known as the Great Commission. The Great Commission, which we read in Matthew chapter 28, tells us to go out into the world, into all the world, and to share the love of Jesus Christ. I want to just pause for a second and read this Great Commission or this command that encourages us and commands us to share the love of Jesus Christ. Listen now to God's Word, Matthew chapter 28, beginning in verse 17. And when they saw Him, they worshipped Him, but some doubted. Jesus said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. What was Jesus telling and teaching his disciples before he ascended into heaven? He was teaching them the same thing he is teaching us. And that is that we, as his church, are called and commanded to express the love of Christ. We're not just called to do it out of obedience, We're called to do it out of great appreciation for what He's done for us. That is so important that we live it out with an attitude of gratitude, with a thankful disposition for what Christ has done for us. That is so important. And we at New Presbyterian Church seek to do that. How do we do it? We do it through developing our teams that focus on evangelism. We have teams that go out into the community and share the love of Christ. We use a tried and true method of evangelism known as EE. Founder of that was Dr. D. James Kennedy, who did an amazing job of putting together a wonderful outline. You might have heard those questions, those two famous questions. One of those questions really influenced my life as a young man when I was asked, Jim, if you died today, do you know if you would be in heaven? with our Lord? That rocked my world. And then another question that's also asked is if you were standing there before Jesus Christ and he said, Jim, why should I allow you into heaven? What would you say? Many people answer that question by saying, well, I was baptized. Others answer that question by saying, I give money to the church. Others answer that question by saying, I'm a good person, or I do these wonderful things. It's all about me and what I've done. The problem with that is we learned in chapter 1 or session 1 under Reformed theology about total depravity, that man cannot do enough to merit his own salvation, that man cannot work his way to heaven. The only work that has saved us is the work of Jesus Christ on the cross. The only thing that can be done was done at the cross. And so I want to ask you, have you come to a place in your life that you have peace that passes all understanding, that you know Jesus Christ? That if He were to ask you, why should I allow you into heaven? Would you be able to answer that? Or would you go to your resume? And would you pull your resume out and begin to list all of your accomplishments? The Apostle Paul tried that for years until the Apostle Paul's life was transformed by the grace of Christ. And then he says in Philippians, all those things are as filthy rags. In other words, they're of no value. They're of no merit to my salvation. And so we at New Presbyterian Church want to convey that message through living out a life of love and grace 
by demonstrating what we're called to do in following the Great Commission, and that is to have a church that's evangelistic. One of the ten reasons given today of why churches are dying is a lack of evangelistic zeal. And we don't want to be one of those churches, and we're not here at New Prez. What's joyful and exciting is to see those people coming together, hungry and excited about sharing the love of Christ. And so we would encourage you to get involved in one of those teams. Also, besides evangelism, tied to that is discipleship. If you have a church that's just evangelizing and not growing deep, then you'll have a church that's not in balance. We want a church that's not only sharing the love of Christ, but has also balanced itself with great discipleship. We don't want people just going out sharing the love of Christ whose marriages are falling apart, whose children are falling apart, who can't manage their life. We want to be a deep church rooted in the doctrines of God's Word, living out God's Word, integrating His Word into our daily life. We call that an integration of profession and faith, taking our faith and integrating it into our character, developing ourselves as men and women of character and commitment for the cause of Christ. And so we want godly character along with integrity and righteousness to rule in our homes, in our marriages, in our families, in our children. And that is discipleship. We want that and we want a balance with evangelism. And those two themes create our second pillar known as evangelism and discipleship. I encourage you to get involved, to study God's Word, to study the Great Commission, and to go out into all the land and to share His love. Thank you again for listening to session number two. I pray that it's been a benefit to you and your daily walk. God's blessings.